Okay, so obviously I was excited when I found out that there was a dedicated casting of Frank Stone website to go to. I think the Kalis website is like my favorite promotional thing a video game has done in, I don't know, the past decade at least. So a new Supermassive Games website, even if it is actually a behavior interactive website, I don't know who made this. I was just going to make a video about, you know, the information that's on here. But then I found out what the Investigate Cedar Steel is, and I figured I had to do uh, my first reaction playthrough. Because it's a hidden object game. <laughs> like, <laughs> did they make this specifically for me? I mean, I doubt they did. But then again, it's not like they don't know that the hidden object guru is the biggest fan of supermassive games and what just everything they're doing in the sphere of interactive horror movies. So to actually put out a hidden object game is kind of like uh, bonkers. Oh my God, it was a radio. Are you seeing this? I, I absolutely could not identify that as a radio. And yeah, it was a radio. I was correct. I thought it was a radio. And I was right. That's not a big deal. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, so uh, let's find the items, shall we? <laughs> Cedar Hills Tribune clipping. Boop. Calhern, son and friend, murdered, say police. Another murder in Cedar Hills. Both so young. I don't know what voice I was doing there. Uh, the item didn't disappear. It just uh, got a dot on it, which is fine. But, you know, as the hidden object guru, I kind of feel like I've got to let them know when they're getting it wrong. I'm an objectively ridiculous person. Okay, now we're looking for weapon sketches. Crude weapon sketches. Could that be them? Because that's the suit and mask designs. Maybe that's the weapon sketch. Oh, let's check. That's not them. That's not them. That's definitely not them. All right, let's take a, take a flyer. And say that's them. Yes! Parker D. No want to get close. Okay. Feel every blow. Hear their screams. This time make it last. Better combat. Kessler E. Oh, these are the victims and what they killed them with. Uh, for the neck, small cuts keep clean. Uh, has... Taste their fear. Oh, they are possible victims. That that was my, uh, my, uh, the implication I took as well. Suit and mask designs are right there. Suit and mask designs to purge the world. Sounds like a man with a purpose, but not in a good way. Aww. Oh, he's got the yeah chain going across him, the leather apron, the bush knife. Okay, bloodstained hammer. A bloody tool, most foul. If you know what that's a reference to, drop it in the comments section below the video and you win a prize. That prize? A uh, copy of the casting of Frank Stone? I'm kidding, I would never spend $80 on you people. <laughs> Actually, how much is this going to cost? Is it going to be like a full price game like The Quarry or is it going to be like a budget priced game? like uh, House of Ashes. Because if it's going to be a budget price game, I will buy you a copy of The Casting of Frank Stone if you get that reference I just made. So, hmm, there you go. Only if it's budget priced. So, like, less than $40 American. Okay, that's that's the line. Okay. Bloodstained Hammer. This was modified by a skilled craftsman. There's blood all over it. I don't think it was modified by a skilled craftsman. Like, there's just three nails coming in the bottom that were added, you know, put on with duct tape. Oh, I guess they're saying that's not what the... See, I thought that was just the originally how it looked. Okay, putting teeth on it, it probably took a bunch of skill. Sharpened file, that was, of course, featured in the trailer. Prominently, in fact. Two shots of the sharpened file. So the triangular file slash triangular chisel. Where are you? Hmm... Can't be that hard to find. I'd hate to have to move over and do this out of order, but I might have to. Not seeing it. I thought that was it right there, but it's not. 
No. It's not on the wall. Maybe I should lean closer to the screen. Def definitely don't do that? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on to the next item. We'll circle back around. Uh, Cedar Steel Photo. That would be that bad boy. Cedar Steel. Feels like half the town works here sometimes. That's not strange, you know, when you build a town up around an industry. That's how it works. Like, famously, there's a town in Germany where everybody works for Adidas or Puma. Modified welding mask. A heavily altered welding mask. Blood-stained and terrifying. Honestly, you could have put a little more blood on there. Like, that looks more like rust than blood. This doesn't really look like it's covered in old blood stains. Now I'm just being a jerk for the sake of being a jerk. A metal horse. So what you're talking about is a motorcycle. That's a, it's a reference to a little song called Dead or Alive. Although in that case, it was a steel horse. <laughs> okay, metal horse, metal horse. No, that is a um, nozzle for something. I thought it would be here in the center, but it wasn't. Wait a minute, There is there sound? There's been sound here the whole time. I didn't even look. And the meat hook, well, obviously we know the meat hook. It's covered in dried blood, hopefully not human. No, because it's completely reasonable that you'd be hanging animals on a meat hook in a steel mill. Obviously it's human blood, you buffoon. <laughs> okay, what have we here? Uh... Where are these horses? I mean, I'm going to take a hint in a minute. I'm not going to make you sit around watching me fail. Although some people enjoy that. I don't understand it myself. Is that seriously the... Okay. So, as the hidden object guru, it's fair to say that there's no part of that that is visibly a sharpened file. That's just a handle. You can't see the file at all. Oh! It's not the file from the trailer. That's disappointing. Hmm. Uh, used for more than its intended purpose. Oh. Oh. I was very surprised that it was a different file. Okay. Metal horse. So as a general rule when I'm doing hidden object screens, I give myself permission to use a hint for the last object and only the last object. I really have to think a screen is, you know frustrating beyond all measure for me to use more than one hint. That's happened. It's happened plenty of times, but that's my line. We are on the last item, though, so just give me another 30 seconds, and then I will give up and uh, grab this. Also, just FYI, it's not completely delusional for me to think that someone might put a reference to me in a video game. I got a shout-out in Dead to Rights 2, and there's a character in a role-playing game that's named after me, so, like... Okay, the time I thought I had been given a shout-out in a supermassive game did turn out to be, uh, you know... Well, I didn't think it was a shout-out. I thought it was a call-out. But that turned out to be, luckily, nothing to do with me. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, uh... It was just a weird coincidence. Alright, I'm using the hint. Loathe as I am to use hints, but hey, they knew to have a hint system, so they've been paying attention to hidden object game design, which I'm really happy about. Also, can I just say, thank you for doing this, whoever did it, because we need more intense horror hidden object games. Just like really brutal hidden object games. It's one of my favorite subgenres, and there just aren't enough entries in it. I'm looking at you, them refusing to make more bonfire stories. Oh, come on. It's basically invisible, guys. All right, let's see what's going on with the metal horse. A horse cast in metal. Was this kept as some sort of trophy? Why would you think that? All right, did we unlock something by finding everything? We did not. All right, uh, so I'm going to look into the website more thoroughly in another video. Thank you for coming by. Uh, coming by? Coming in this journey with me to check out the hidden object game. I am the hidden object guru after all. How could I not be delighted by this? Uh, anyway, I will see you back here for more. A casting of Frank Stone as uh, videos as we learn more about this extremely exciting game. But until then, I'll say that's right. Au revoir.